Hey, Kelly. Hey, man. How's it going? What you doing? You know what? I am been on this stupid computer trying to figure out a really good realtor to use. And okay. I am running myself going crazy because I just don't know where to go. I don't know. There's so many. How do you find a good realtor? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, let me see if I can help you. I would greatly appreciate that. What's up, everyone? This is Eric Yip and Kelly Whedon. Today, we're going to talk about how to find a realtor. And I found one. I guess so. We make a lot of videos about real estate and Edmonton. And if you like our video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. The other thing is, we've helped so many people because they call us because of our videos and we absolutely love meeting them and helping them. So if you're thinking of buying a home, make sure you reach out to us. If you want some financial advice also, reach out to us, text us or call us. Oh, email us too if you wanted to. Hey guys, so you wanna buy your first home and you want to find a realtor to help you. Where do you go? Well, I don't know. You know, I just thought the most obvious would be calling a friend. Phone a friend! Phone a friend! Call a friend. Dial a number. Isn't that from the the, the, the Millionaire Show? Yes. Call a friend? Call a friend. Wasn't it? Isn't that also some of the songs? I think so. So so why, why, why phone a friend? You know what? You call a friend because they've already built a relationship with somebody. So if they've used a realtor, whether they bought or sold a home, they've already built a relationship with somebody. Okay. So that's so, so important. And right. it's so much easier to deal with someone that kind of like, you know, like and trust through somebody else. Okay. It's just kind of like that relationship building. So I always usually either check with my parents or my friends. Okay. Like that. So basically use their realtor in other words. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. They've done the legwork. Yeah. Like that. Really like that. What if you don't have friends? Which, you know, it can happen. You know, sometimes people haven't used a realtor or they they don't really have a relationship with someone. They just use someone and then that was it. Mm -hmm. So the next thing to do is really, you can just Google. Go Google. online and go realtors in the area that you're at. Mm -hmm. You'll see a list of what are called brokerages and you can just start calling them and get patched through to a realtor. There's so many of them. Oh, there are thousands. So how do you choose that realtor? Well, call, talk to the realtors, mm -hmm. tell them what you're looking for. It's so important that they want listen to you. Mm. You know? Na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's not the monkeys. Oh. No, <laughs> I'm not sure either. You want to make sure someone is friendly. Okay. You know, and go with your gut. Okay. That that's a big thing too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, listen to what you feel inside. If you feel like it's just not a conversation that they're, they're just not listening to you or you just got this vibe that it's just not fitting, yep. go with it. You know, talk to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Phone another brokerage. Mm -hmm. Talk to a different realtor. There's there's a lot of men and women out there that are great at what they do. Mm -hmm. Some market all over the place. You can see all the all the bus, you know, the, the, the seats and the, on the buses and you know, through the internets and LinkedIn's and all these things. But that doesn't always mean that they're a good realtor. Okay. Well, how do you choose a good realtor though? You know what? Sometimes it's as easy as Apple going pie? out with them. Apple pie? Yeah. <laughs> as long as they bring food, food's okay. good. Bring food. It really comes down to the experience. Okay. You know, I'm all about how does someone make me feel. Okay. Either after a conversation with yeah. them or even through emails. All right. Are they willing to engage in you, keep you informed? Okay. You know, if I was to talk to you and say, hey, Eric, these are the types of homes I'm looking for, you're going to be like, great. And then I don't hear from you for like a week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, do you even care? But if you're like emailing me maybe that night or the next morning and say, hey, I found a couple properties in the area you told me about. Let's go take a look. I'm going to be like, all right, let's go check it out. So in other words, a realtor that actually pays attention to you and responds to you at a reasonable time. 
-hmm. instead of leaving you, I don't know, out in the dry or, you know, just they don't respond to you after 10 days or a month or something like that. I've got a great story. Oh, it doesn't okay. have to do with Love the stories. Though. Okay. I was looking at buying a car. Okay. And I said... What kind of car? Well, I wanted more like a four-door car, something. No hatchbacks. I don't like hatchbacks. Okay. And, okay, I'm not great at driving a standard. Sorry. Okay. And my wife likes me about that. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So, the, the car salesman yep. brings up a hatchback PT Cruiser that is a standard. No way. So, I looked at him. I said, I said, no standards, mm -hmm. no hatchbacks. Right. But he's like, oh, but this one's a great deal. Yep. Oh, this is... I'm like, no. That's the type of person that will not get my business because mm -hmm. they didn't listen. Right. So it's so, so important that whoever you're choosing makes you feel good about your decisions. They make you feel good by talking to them because they are listening to you and what you want. And they're not going to... They're not going to sell you something you don't want. So they have your best interest. Mm. That's the most important. Are you sure you don't want that Lamborghini? Yes, I do. Come on, you do. But can I afford it? Not right now. Okay. All right. So in other words, what you're saying is that you want a realtor that is attentive and pays attention to what you want. That is so, now, so important. So let's say if you want to buy a two-story and you told the realtor specifically, don't show you any bungalows or buy levels and they only show you anything but bung bungalows and buy levels that is not the realtor that you want is that what you mean not necessarily oh actually. okay now reason being okay we decide what we want what yes. we like okay but a realtor can also listen to what you want and mm -hmm. make suggestions and say hey keep an open mind and look at this so yes, back to the story about the car, mm -hmm. the PT Cruiser. Right. I still took it out, took it for a drive. Yep. It was pretty cool. I okay. did not end up buying it, but it was still the fact that I got out of my comfort zone and looked at something different. Right. So a good realtor will also say and help you mm -hmm. think outside the box. Oh. So they can actually contradict you, but help you discover new things. Hmm. I don't get it. And as long as they're telling you why they want to show you this. Hey, okay. I know you said you wanted a bungalow, yep. but I do want to show you this townhouse because it has everything that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's in a townhouse. Okay. So check it out. Fair enough. So basically have an open mind, uh, but in general still stay within the parameters and hopefully you have a realtor that really understands you and knows exactly what you're looking for. Is that right? That is so true. Okay. Cool. That is so true. And cool. someone who's really going to just be there for you and take initiative to mm -hmm. stay in touch with you. Yeah. I, I hate it when, you know, even if it comes down to putting in an offer on a property and mm -hmm. then you sit and you wait. Yeah. And you wait. Okay. And you wait. Right. But you don't hear from your, your realtor mm -hmm. and you're panicking. Right. But it's so nice to be like, hey, offer's still pending. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still waiting on the paperwork. As long as you're reaching out every couple days, just keeping that person in the loop makes you feel so much better. So what I'm hearing from you is for that realtor to have good communication skills. Communication is so key. Okay. Even if nothing's happening, yep. communicate nothing's happening. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Really like that. Hey, Kelly, I'm communicating with you. Yes, you are. Call me. What about open houses? Can't you find a realtor there? You know what? It's awesome to go to an open house and see a house. Yeah. But I've walked in and I've had nobody talk to me. Oh, okay. I get the, oh, hi. Okay. And then you start looking around. But but they don't want to bother you. Well, it, at least it's engaged that I've walked in. Okay. Offer hi. your name. And I'm Eric. Exactly. And then be like, hey, if you need anything, let me know. If you need anything, let me know. I want to point out a few things about this house. And I want to point out a few things you need to know. And then go, please come see me when you're done. Please come see me when you're done. Let the person go and enjoy the property. Okay, go. Yeah, and pretty much do that. Make <laughs> fun of it. Like, have fun with it. And okay. then just make sure that you see the person before they leave. Yep. And say, do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. Help you out. That's awesome. Okay. Now, question I have. 
say I've gone and I've met a realtor and I've gone out to a couple homes and right. just, I'm not liking the vibe. I don't know. Yeah. It's just something. Am I obligated to stay with them? <laughs> not really. I'm not under contract. No, you don't have to. Honestly, I'd stick with a realtor that you feel the most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Right? Someone who has some experience. Uh, maybe you want some give someone a chance who's newer also. Like, there is no right or wrong. It just depends on what your comfort level is and what you want to do. I think passion too. Passion oh, about what they're never... doing. Mm. I just thought of that. I'm thinking of, you know what I'm thinking of right now? Pizza. Nope, passion fruit. Well, pizza sounds passion really good. Can, can you smell that pizza? There is pizza. I can somewhere. smell pizza. It is. It's making me so hungry right now. So back to passion okay. and passion fruit. Yes. Uh, it's so important that I think someone who's excited about what they're doing. Yes. Yeah. So a new person yeah. or a seasoned person can be excited. Yes. But if you have someone who's complacent and they're just like, uh, yeah. Boring. You know what? Boring. You want someone fun and exciting. Exactly. It's all about the experience because when you buy that house, oh, I love that. It brings the experience into the home, and you just you start telling people, and then boom, that's where the referrals Maybe come. Maybe a little world class client experience. Maybe. Or world class shitty experience. <laughs> else that's important you know I think those are the major keys so one talk to a friend see who they've used in the past yep you can google a bunch of realtors you know realtors in certain areas this is Edmonton mm -hmm. you know or you can go to an open house see the realtors there yep and I'm sure you've gone you know on your way to work or on your way home you've seen signs people selling their houses yep you can just find the realtor on there and call them mm -hmm. you know or you know, you can see who's got exposure around on bus seats, buses, things like that. Yep. Try calling or Google a brokerage, Remax, yeah, Century 21, all those places and just mm -hmm. talk to someone. Mm -hmm. But do your due diligence. Make sure that you're connected with the person really, really well, that they're listening to you. And you know what? Go with the experience. That's what I have found has always been more for me. Like, do you mean good experience or bad experience? Good experience. Okay. Good experience. Good experience. Mm -hmm. And all about how a person is going to make you feel. Are you, you being experience. listened to? That's right. We're here to listen to you, so... Actually, no, you're here to listen to us. No, that's <laughs> kind of funny. Yes, I know. <laughs> Remember, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you want to buy a home or have any questions about finances, reach out to us by a call or text or email. Until, or pigeon carrier. Or pigeon carrier. Until next time, guys.